Welcome to the Crucial Classics Bring Your Own Copy series, where what we do is watch movies together. We are going to watch all of the biggest titles from that golden age of Hollywood. So join me as we will sync up, press play at the same time, and let's just enjoy the magic from this golden age of Hollywood. Hi, welcome back to Crucial Classics. I kind of have my heating blanket wrapped around my shoulders, so I'm going to let it be like that, but you'll see I look weird. <laughs> keeping it efficient in here for warmth this season. Ah, today's title. Welcome. Take a look around at our channel. We have plenty for you to binge. If you love old movies, you are in the right spot because we watch them together from start to finish. Um, you bring your copy. We will sync up and push play together. Let's take a look at the wall of my living room. And it is decorated like this because old movies are important to me for the past 31 years. I think it's got to be getting closer to 32. But today's title, The Big Heat. This has to be, I'm trying to think, one of the, it just stands out as one of the first movies where I really got a good feel of like, wow, this dude, Glenn Ford. Um, I don't think I had seen like a lot of his movies up to catching this one so it definitely like just sets the tone of what this guy's persona was in his career If we can talk a lot about Sidney Poitier right being kind of a just good example for our culture my culture hi um, Glenn Ford sets that kind of same kind of consistent example throughout his career. He's just, this movie is him standing up for integrity. He will single-handedly just take on the mission of making sure that justice is served, but he's going about like a righteous quest, you know what I mean? And also one of my favorite scenes in this movie just about that, which is in such contrast to like bullshit, stuff that happened in the movie Shane. I swear to goodness, people. I see that Watch Along is still very, you know, good and viewed, um, but that was my first time watching that movie, and it drove me crazy how the central theme in that was that, you know, a group, a community, which really did not have a sense of community, was just constantly being barraged by life-threatening threats being posed on them. They couldn't unify, they didn't have guts, you know, they had no gumption, and they wouldn't, nobody was prepared to actually do some standing up to the, you know, bad people, the bullies, but it was way more than bullies, like, they were threatening their lives, and they just took it for way too, way too long. That movie drove me crazy. That's one of the, I just really disliked that film, okay? Um, it was rated four stars, I don't see why. This one I just looked it up in Moulton's book, three stars. But one of my favorite scenes in this movie is, you know, Ford is on this quest for justice for a lot of reasons. But now it feels like the threat that has been coming his way in various different ways and has played out in various different ways. Like they've crossed the line and they've threatened his little toddler girl. And so he has now had to like relocate her hoping that she's hidden and that the dangerous people don't know where she is and he's managed to come and get an opportunity to visit her and he is not being allowed to get by to come and see her because a sense of community these are people he has never even met total stranger men are like not letting him pass because what they are doing is being on watch on guard on protecting the babies and they were prepared to take him out, not knowing that he is the father of this little girl. And they speak it. They're like, look, my experiences, you know, even if I just went to basic training <laughs> in the military. But I feel like they served some, you know, they were in a war in the military. And they had needed to pick up a firearm since then. But they know what to do, you know what I mean? And they were like, oh, there was no way in hell. Ain't nobody going to hurt this little girl, you know what I mean? Like... We just live in this apartment building where she's being hidden out right now and the people that are, you know, have taken her in. Let it be known, like, just, you know, keep your eyes peeled. This little girl's in danger 
and the fellow men just stepping up they were oh hell no not on their watch so it's this type of major theme in this movie that is just like yes glenn ford dude and if you just kind of consistently can look through his very long-standing career i cannot think of a whole lot of instances 310 to yuma where you know he just flips the script though and shows us that he has acting chops so he can really kind of serve us whatever but for the most part he's serving as a man that is operating from integrity and that just stands him apart he never gets his ass kicked and i can tell i have seen early in his career later into his career like in the 70s I've, there was that movie with him and barbara hershey and i have never seen glenn ford get his ass kicked that's a persona to maintain in your career too you know what i mean and so yeah glenn ford is everything in film he is the epitome of a leading man because he always is giving us man he's giving us the definition of a man with integrity and honorability and good looks and gonna kick your ass if you mess up he ain't just a bully he ain't just out here kicking ass but he will f you up if you mess up with him <laughs> he does it in this movie so yeah let's get started we got a shorter runtime on this which just makes it yay let's watch it because i haven't seen this movie since i've started this channel an hour 29 and 11 seconds um, I do believe it was from 1953. I just looked it up in his book. So yeah, let's go. I just need to get my headphones in, but ways that I suggest that you watch with me, and I'm going to need to take this off or turn it down because um, this is doing the trick. Let me just turn it down. One screen. That is the goal, that you access your copy of the film and this video of me, and then you set everything up so that you're watching it on one screen. That's the goal. That's what we're doing over here. Ways that you can do this don't have a lot of connectivity but you're just making it work you do two tabs you pull the video of me into a tab the movie into another they'll lock side by side make the movie take up more of the screen you can pull it over at that point put me in theater mode just puts now nice black space around me then you even take an HDMI cable from that device likely your computer plug it into your big screen TV and boom you're up and running speaking of an HDMI cable people quickly here your girl is gonna have to invest i think i've priced something out for under ten dollars but it's like a 15 foot hdmi cable that's gonna allow me to be plugging it into this computer and into the tv and bypassing this casting crap because it's too finicky in my area i i think that i they think that i am like nearly off of the grid with the power of internet strength that i get with my router sitting much less than 15 feet away from me but anyway if you have more reliable um casting abilities than i do i'm really pretty ticked it took i am not exaggerating to you guys that it took me over half an hour right now to be casted up electronic you know wirelessly to be able to start pushing play on this movie very frustrated but in me right when that is working well for you this is the best way you launch the movie full screen you come back to this video of me play on tv picture in picture i'm shrinkable floatable you move me as a small little box into the corner of the full screen movie and that is always the intended way so that you get the mission of my channel and the suggestion of best viewing experience that you can have doing this with me set it up like that all right check out my member site again as i did i mention i don't know I am regularly doing uploads over to our member site on the weekends. Yes, I did say that to you guys recently because separately I just now made a video asking you if you would prefer to receive my little calendar of uh, movies for each month to give you that heads up knowledge or if you prefer the element of surprise, which is really the experience that I have had for you guys in effect since um, October of last year is when we started our channel and um, the month of November was the first time that I released my schedule of watch alongs. I obviously have a schedule because I watch the movies according to it and I can continue to keep that to myself if you guys don't like having the heads up. So, but I just would like that feedback from you because it was fun for me making it, but it also was time consuming and that could just be a task that I need not uh, spend my time on if you guys prefer the element of surprise. I need to get way more water than this. I probably want some grapes too. I'll be right back and then we will do our countdown to sync up. <laughs> just a lot of technical difficulty frustration that also is just like a test. Are you gonna let it get underneath your skin or are you gonna keep it positive and moving along? 
had to restart my computer again for this connectivity BS. But let's give it a try of playing in three. Hold on. I don't trust that it's at zero. Playing in three, two, one, click. Got a really immediate start. Um, I'm kind of gathering. This is going to give me kind of like a low budget intro here just for what the f is this you know what i mean but we're getting to work you know there is no fluff oh it was a cereal and there's john louis on his own screen for gowns that's interesting huh he does furs that would be i was just looking right there to see if they did a separate credit for the furs Directed by Fritz Lang. I also forgot to point out just that little... Anytime I've ever seen this movie being introduced, they try and make such a big deal about the fact of... Oh, oh well, that happened, right? Yeah. It, did she expect that? Look at her. Marlon Brando's sister, right? Isn't it? Look at... Uh, Oh, she's taking the note. That is not addressed to her. That is for the district attorney. Is she about to burn that up? Is she going to open it? Oh, God's word. Is there time to call anybody? I mean, that time has passed, but she is not trying to render aid, give an F, trying to see what she's implicated in in this letter. Why is somebody pulling up here right now? Or just in her neighborhood? Okay, so she closed the blinds. She is not calling 911, right? That, did that exist back in this day? Is this how she just called the police? Oh, is he going to smile? What? I forgot the ins and outs of this story. So, this is not the police. He said the pri private line, huh? just click so she wasn't gonna call the police and tell this full advisor to do that needing to be handed a cigarette in bed talk about service being a valet oh and dialing the phone Is this the police? Oh, no. She's way, 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 way too much, huh? She doesn't have a good sense of perception. To recognize the danger that she really is playing with this man as much as she does. Because she takes it too far. Oh, look at her. Yeah. Because she still takes her time to do that. for that private line does that mean the dames don't listen in on the private line if you get that set up 
Because you're not supposed to say everything on the line because those dames listen in. That's him. So this guy was just a records man at the police department. And he had something he was trying to tell the district attorney. Oh, she's doing Scarlett O'Hara. Did she just drink out of her little cologne bottle? She was ready to perform. He's young. Bitch, you, oh, really? You were already on the stairs, it looked like. Oh, you did not run. I was times like you stood there to make sure that that was the status update. Oh, she's got tears. On the up and up. Oh, look at him. Oh, did he do it so that it's documented and they have a paper trail? Oh, so he didn't do that. So we only have your word to go by then. That that was something going on. Uh, where was his read on that veteran? Head of Record Bureau was in ill health. Oh, that's the story you reported. That's so cute, huh? She's just very efficient. She gets it on sale. Oh. Oh, okay. This dinner looks delicious. Are they about to, like, butter and sour cream it up? Oh, oh, all right. The book. What do they got? A1? It looks delicious.
<laughs> oh, okay. They're letting us know. <laughs> They're cute, huh? This has been well established. Oh, he doesn't even open the can of air. We saw that. Oh, somebody called in to leave a tip on the Crime Stoppers helpline. My sound is a little less than desirable. Oh, what is he? Okay, like, full. do you hear him? So she, okay. So, oh, okay. I was like, are they stepping outside? So she can say what she has to say inside of her? Look at dude at the bar. Did they? Sh yeah. He's checking. Oh, I feel like he goes and makes a phone call, huh? Oh, in the paper. Okay. Oh, because you were his side chick? Oh, that, uh, well, uh, okay. Oh, she works there. Here. Who's Tom the Duke? Um, okay, so then y'all got together. Uh, okay. Why? You were just giving the details. Okay. So, okay, this girl, I was always at his house. We were laying around in the pool. He said, oh, it seems like I got really cozy. He was reading her for a hoe. And he didn't want to hear her story. Okay, yeah. That's all he's addressing. Oh, the, your man had a side chick that he asked you for a divorce for. And that he asked you for a divorce. Okay. 
Oh, she came out venomous, huh? Okay, so now all of a sudden, though, basically before she was saying, okay. yeah, although he had a lesser position than him, when you think his salary is less than Glenn Ford, and Glenn Ford can barely afford steak. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, bitch. He was wanting to know if you financed. Oh, bitch, you didn't give much of an F about that a couple of seconds ago because in the room when she was doing Scarlett O'Hara, she said basically that he was staying his purity like Dorian Gray was referring to things. And uh, then, oh, she didn't hesitate to say, though, he was like everything that he did was above board and great and full of integrity, except for the fact that there were four of these bitches throughout the course of our marriage. And then now, just because you want details about this second house at the lake, lakefront property, off of his little lesser position than you as a police officer salary, all of a sudden, right away, it's got to be because he was on somebody's payroll. know that it's girl yet but he's got an idea huh homegirl whatever her name was Lucy Chapman I'm so bad at names huh? Lucy Chapman where's it going to identify the body he already did Okay, well, that was too much. Is he a detective? Because he just kind of comes and goes. Huh? Oh, are they going to pull him off? Who was that? What the love life of her husband? Me. Why is this man like cleaning up? <clears throat> oh, she was the village bicycle. <clears throat> oh, 
Does he say it over? Uh. Oh, that's how he takes his orders, though. Huh? Damn, Glenn Ford. Okay. He don't like it. You know, his, um, breath all on the glass is escaping me out. So he said when he gets some answers, he'll be back. I've been saying, does this dude go and make a call? Yeah. What is he doing on the payphone? So it can't be tracked? Didn't we see earlier that there was some phone on the extension in here? Oh, you're calling on the private line, huh? Oh, sir. I gave him double talk. He, he called him out on it, huh? But he, yeah, that's what I did. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Are you going to get hit? Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Glenn Ford. Damn. <laughs> I was just wondering if that foe was about to get knocked out, though. Too. Just from my little gif that I found of this movie. So you can pretty closely see the neighbors, like, right there in their little sun porch. Oh, his daughter's little toy buggy. Little baby doll buggy. Are we going to meet her now, the little girl? That's a terror at night for her mother. <laughs> well, does he need to play with his daughter for a couple of minutes? Check.
Oh, just go over it real quick. Oh, just click. What did he say to her, his wife? Yeah. Hmm, okay, well, people are coming over, so he leaves. Oh, it is not back over to that little dive place. All right, he's been kind of tiptoeing around making this stop then, because obviously... Okay, he's playing closed out right now. Okay, yeah. Doing what? <sighs> and he's finding that harder and harder to do. Because he's definitely been, in essence, told to not come here. But we got to understand who this dude is. Is he legit? With police... Um, <laughs> yeah, he said he's the police fool and he don't need to wait for you either so it looks like he has you know the Savoy Club going on in his living room like who are all of these people just getting their groove on hard dude <laughs> oh okay that's where I was gonna say they looked like Bobby Soxers Okay. What does he do that allows him to have police protection? Okay. Well, um, let's get to the point. Um, probably not. Oh, he thinks he's here selling tickets. Like, the cop that just came to Ralph and Alice's house. Oh, he can't do that? He's from Prohibition days. Oh, we're not in this house, huh? He gonna point out his mother?
Yeah. Do it, George. See, he, oh, damn. Oh, damn. You know, I usually have to have people up that much. George, stay your ass on the ground. Shit. I couldn't tell what he said. <laughs> oh, okay, Glenn Ford. Those weren't big or fancy words. That's all it's about. Hmm. Uh oh, Glenn Ford, what are you doing? So this dude is letting it be known that as long as his job is on the line because Whoever. Oh, uh, they're going to the movie theater. Yeah, your boss. Oh, okay, that's the motivation. He's starting to get an overwhelming feeling that it's mostly about corruption. Oh, I was going to say, does he love her too? <laughs> no, they had a terrible time.
Now we haven't seen this man. Oh, the commissioner. Is this Wilkes? Murder. Oh, he knows, huh? This dude right here, huh? you've made a lot of enemies. internal investigations and shit in police departments. <laughs> oh, now is he out of line? He's gonna go on ahead and hand it right over to you for forever. said that this movie doesn't really stand up still he don't know what he's writing about a lot of the times damn oh he's moving out who is this is this his lieutenant Is that his boss? Uh, no. Okay, well, that's how he's moving right now. He just feels that there's too much corruption. 
and he doesn't want anybody telling him to let it go. It's, he, he, look at this. He is not going to do it. She said to him, you're going to have a hard time with me if I was ever to find out that you are just going along, not looking to the left or right because of shit that they don't want you to see. And now she's gone. This chick right here, called extra. This is the definition, an example, a demonstration of an extra. And again, like I said, she just doesn't have enough sensibility to understand the danger that she's in with Vince. Oh, look at her. That dude is from North by Northwest. Oh, look at her. Oh, okay. Is she going to get fresh with whoever this is? Larry. Like what she's about in, um, what's that movie? Greatest Show on Earth. I'm sure I ain't doing nothing in the kitchen, ever. Well, wasn't he told? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, you're getting rid of him now, or does he, he's just been informed? Why, Paul? Oh, what's the election for? You up for election? <laughs> oh. Okay. Deportation. Okay, these are the mechanics that could have done something to his car, but they did it on site at his house. So, okay, he's just coming to see if there's anybody that knows anything about dynamite. This dude.
Why does he already know? Are you Banyan the cop? Well, he went straight to already knowing his name. Now he's calling him Mr. They mind their business. Oh, he owns it. Okay. This dude, uh, he's in something with Humphrey Bogart. Uh, to have and have not. Oh, see, doing the right thing. This old lady coming out with her cane. Gonna do the right thing. You know the name of the place? And be careful, Mrs. Parker, huh? But see, she did the right thing at some risk to her own safety. Hmm. He'll be there. So those are his in-laws. It's like his wife's sister or husband, brother, right? <clears throat> oh, here are some cops on detail, huh? I guess. Are they doing their job? Are they like what was watching Marlon Brando in The Godfather? As soon as he's around the corner, they leave too. Okay, so here he comes into the retreat to watch for the phone call and to see who goes and gets it. That's what I said. Don't they have some type of a phone? Cause he ain't, this phone ain't gonna be calling the um, phone booth, right? So when dude went into the phone booth, like that was a deliberate, untraceable call that he was trying to attempt. There's the phone. Oh, he don't answer it.
this movie so many instances of people ready to take their, they get into people's business. Why do they call him a thief? How does he already recognize that person? Is that who he effed up at um, dude's house? Oh, now all of a sudden, after you just burned her, because this fool just told him, told Glenn Ford not to push it, and he said, well, you can walk. Oh, I, I is that his bodyguard that he effed up already? <coughs> Is he going to ask her if she wants to press charges? Oh, Gilda. Blame it on me. Okay. Put the blame on Mame, boys. There's the uh, John Louis Fur. This is interesting. She's finally going to show s some depth. Oh, he, I, he be reading you for filth. Leaving no doubt. No question that you were just read for filth. Does he yank his arm away from her? Oh, uh, no. But somebody is seeing her. Oh, that's Larry. Oh, so he's taking her to his hotel. <laughs> Glenn Ford, you uh, changed your tune pretty quickly, too, huh? Oh yeah, dude is not following her. He's is he following or he's gonna go tell that he saw this chick on his arm getting into a cab. Really? Oh. He doesn't have a house. He's living in this um hotel now. Does she sit on her coat because she piled it up like that? She has the pillows arranged like I have on this bed right now. This is not the bed I sleep on, people. It's in my living room. Wasn't the first time you'd seen him. She doesn't have any idea. Oh, you won't get anywhere. What? That he sat down? But then he can be really bad. Okay. Um, okay, that's her, just her trip. Uh. <laughs> oh, 
Which I was just gonna say, damn, um, she's done with hers real quick. <laughs> That's all she does all day long, be mixing her little cocktails. Oh, all of a sudden, she knows a lot of them. He has a lot of friends named. Oh. She doesn't talk out of school. I love that line. Oh, does he say, well, why'd you come through her? Oh, she doesn't know about his wife. She ain't in on the crimes taking place. Why say something, you know? Does he say yes? Oh, okay, well. Red for Phil. I mean, okay, so, you know, bye bye. <laughs> I mean, because then it became clear what she was in there for, and he wasn't down, the commissioner. Does he shake his head? No. Does Larry shake his head? No. Oh, he already... Larry got the address, so it wasn't a late show. Excuse me. Mm. It was supposed to have been a gag. So, see, she has no wherewithal. He's Foster. So the police commissioner better mind his business. Wow. Oh, so he's like going to break her arm. And now he's done with that. Malden said this scene right here is still, like, legendary. <whistles> so, yeah, he did Chapman. Like, he was the um, technician on that. Are you saying that you just scalded this chick's face? Well, 
she now a little bit of sense did kick in. She knew after she got fixed up, she better not go back there. She came here. For a woman, unfortunately, like, that's a legit setback. The commissioner. Yeah. Because I'm in danger if I don't get to stay here. Okay, well, yeah. Just love Glenn Ford. That little acting on the phone. It doesn't want it registered. Yeah, that's right. I don't want it. <laughs> She's here. Did he ad lib that? Was that line written in, or did he just, you know, he's acting on the phone? <laughs> Keep it positive, huh? Um, just saying that, like, for... Oh, okay, thanks. Keep, keep it up. A woman that, you know, gets by like she does. Definitely. It's like, it's very superficial. I would, when they were leaving, I said, oh, is she going to show some depth? Because she plays too much. Is there some cop coming to escort her, Glenn? The guy, the guy at the mechanic shop. I'm here and playing with you. The cop. Yeah, Larry is not doing more than taking orders.
he be calling people thief, huh? Like that's that's his derogatory term, huh? He be reading you and he lets you know you're a thief. Oh. Uh, oh. Well. Okay. You don't. Larry. They used to be different iterations of people's names. Oh, the cop. Oh. Oh, okay. Going to the papers, like uh, Robert Redford, Three Days of Condor. Oh, well, is this full moving without your okay? Higgins. Oh, look at how her hair is um a little bit more coiffed, huh? She's kind of fancied up for just being in her house. I mean, she's pushing it. If y'all trying to read June Cleaver, look at this. What are you dressed like this for at home? Y'all ain't never gonna see me putting on my formal gown <laughs> to come and do this watch along with you. Hmm. Oh, she's give her the Oscar. Is she gonna start talking shit? There she goes. Oh, she's admitting to it. Ooh, ooh, oh. has his arms, hands on, on her neck. Oh yeah, he had his hands around her neck. <laughs> oh, a farmer. Oh, 
okay, damn, I mean, they're keeping it moving, because it's like, what next, you know? Oh, this is her own little room. Let's just add a different doctor. <clears throat> oh, he's going to eat with her. Yeah, she really was just sitting there in the dark. Um, what has he got? Some burgers for him? What's the food? No, huh? Looking like a bowl of soup. Pain pills. Yeah. I'm just being a hell. Soup. It's all for her, huh? Mm. Um. Is he leaving? Um. And now he knows, does he know that Larry's at the bottom of the river? Is he at... How? You, he had his hands on her neck. Oh, okay. not there and it takes him an hour to get there this is my favorite scene oh, where are you going It's looking rough. So he has this hat on for effect too. Um, Oh, he got a crew. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> oh, okay. See? Yeah. 
are the cops. It was just so little, I'm... Um, <laughs> the three little kittens. Oh, who is this? A dude that told him to go see the father. in there on her no she ain't worth it no look and he's done playing around no you ain't about to threaten my baby girl oh look at the jean louis of it all <laughs> we'll see the differences between these two coats they're slightly different huh i love her like puddle sleeves that are going on what's the difference with her fur. Oh yeah, she doesn't have the same type of... I like this lady's, hers looks kinda a little bit more like a cape. With those... cuffs. And the flow, the hang of it. We basically have on the same, yeah, fur. Oh, bitch. Tell him you're not well. Ooh, well, she better not get found out by Mr. Stone. at all costs okay oh uh, uh she was in the room when dude got the call that his little baby was in danger at the hands of that bitch where does he stand <laughs> looking in a fake window for like that <laughs> so Uh, where was that that this fool just walked out of? He didn't. Fool, seriously? You are not aware of your surroundings better than this right now that you did not. The, Glenn Ford was so obviously um, <laughs> fake looking in a window, like right in front of wherever. Yeah. Yeah, in a minute, hon. <laughs> like, she's hit twice.
Pay attention, Glenn. That was 911. Oh, damn, how did he miss him like that? <sighs> Guys, do they ever get Glenn Ford? Do, have we seen a movie where they get him? They don't, they don't ever get him either, do they? Yeah, oh, hell no. Is it just, mm, yeah. heart he is a cop and he was a good cop he was not a corrupt cop that's what infiltrated his department but he's not a killer even in that circumstance Glenn, you just pointed at her like that? Like, let that be him coming over to her? Oh. Does she make it? I can't remember. Okay, well, here they are. Hurry up. Was like the worst way to get at her for her I love the way he talks. Oh, the three little kittens, they had a terrible time. Maureen O'Hara.
Higgins was the commissioner. I was like, who's walking in the door? That's not who we're supposed to see. There's Glenn Ford. He's just back at his desk, huh? He didn't get a promotion. Oh, what are you standing there supervising? Oh, is this his partner? Well, he goes ready to go with sharpened pencils for full time. Uh, <laughs> Hugo is sitting there. He had a pencil in between all of his fingers. Did we need to end the movie like that? I mean, okay, because the movie just ended for me, too. Like, I didn't get any out credits. So. <laughs> anyway, happy ending in a way, right? Because now... That department is back up and running the way that it should. Wow, people. What an excellent movie. It was kind of easy to follow. I, you know, I was right here with Glenn Ford. So a lot of the times I was saying what he just said after I said it. Um, but, I mean, he made my jaw drop so many. Reading for filth, it was epic in this movie. Like and subscribe tomorrow on the paid site come and join me let's watch together from start to finish jezebel with betty davis we do have that as a spoiler alert podcast format here on the channel but i will just say um this year probably like maybe you know what people it was in that hectic stressful time when i was having to be back in corporate america i would come home and I started to watch Jezebel on my own because that's one I own. We're bringing our own copies to do that one. But um, I started studying that movie again. It's just such immaculate storytelling. She wins the Oscar for it, Betty Davis. So come and join me. It'll be available on the member site starting Sunday. And uh, you have the schedule for the month of November, so you know the rest of the titles that are coming there's a video of it on the channel, and then it's also on the community tab. We will see you next week, and hopefully tomorrow on the member site. Bye-bye. Thank you guys so much for watching this movie with me. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Hey, hit that thumbs up button for me, especially if you're hearing my voice saying this right now. <laughs> you watched to the end. Um, go ahead and subscribe. Turn on your notifications so you can always be aware of our newest titles to watch together. See you next time.